A famous explorer once said that the extraordinary is in what we do, not who we are. When we first uh, approached this title, we knew we wanted to take Lara in a new direction. Uh, but at the same time, we wanted to keep something that you'd recognize instantly as Lara Croft. So that was our challenge. How do we make Lara instantly feel familiar yet fresh at the same time? Lara is holistically Lara. There's not one person we wanted to point at and say, oh, that, you know, that's that, that actress. Um, but we, she is a composite of different influences, of which were, you know, some famous, some not. I think that was one of the big, you know, differences of uh, how we approached uh, Lara this time, was we really wanted her to feel as believable as possible. So I think most people, when I've, when I've uh, talked to them, they say, I, I, I think I know her, but they can't quite place her, and I think that's the perfect place to be. I think people want and now believe that this is the new Lara, and it's really kind of exciting. In our darkest moments, when life flashes before us. We wanted to do, tell an origin story, and that means that Lara's gonna be younger. She's 21 in this adventure. She's right out of school, and she's on her first adventure. Uh, that was a unique opportunity for us because we knew she had certain skills still that we wanted to rely on. You know, she had a, she had a background that's very familiar to a background she's had before. But at the same time, she won't have gone through all the myriad of adventures she has in the past. And that combination of that, that enthusiasm to start an adventure and the will to want to do something and then being you know, put in a situation where she has to survive was a pretty electric combination of elements. And uh, we're really excited about what is, how it's going to come through in the story. The things that we knew we wanted to keep, you know, there are certain aspects that we wanted to keep from Lara, the, the ponytail, the accent, the eyes. There are things that you want to, you, you look at her and you go, that feels like Lara Croft. But her attitude's a little different. Um, we've been using the term Teflon Lara when describing classic Lara Croft. We wanted uh, our Lara Croft to be more vulnerable. So um, in order to tell the survival story, the vulnerability needed to come through. And her inexperience as making this an origin story, we use that as a, as a vehicle for us to let her grow as a character throughout. And I think it's a really exciting place for us to start. And um, I think you're going to see a, a new sensitive side to Lara. At the same time, that resilience and that drive to, to move forward. And we think that's really exciting. Everything's driven off of the, the goals of the title, and the goal is to, to tell a, a survival adventure. So the, the tone of the, of the title is reflected in that. So we have a, a decidedly darker and grittier look that we, uh, that we knew we wanted to achieve. And that goes everything from color palettes to the style and treatment of surfaces, all the way through to uh, how we treat Lara. I mean, Lara's gonna get you know, she's going to get dirty, she's going to get injured and hurt. And all that, all of those experiences are reflected on her character, not only surface qualities, but in her performance. So she's going to react to this world in a very visceral way. But we've also put a lot of time and attention into um, the, the actors and actresses that we've cast to, to play these characters. And we've done full performance capture. These, uh, this full performance capture allows us to, to get not only one person's performance, full body, face, but it multiples together. So they're really acting together in a scene and you really feel those bonds between characters. It really pushes the emotional quality of the performances to the next, to the next level for our studio. It's an honor to be compared to what I regard as one of the best you know, games uh, that I've played in, in recent memory. So, I mean, if, if we're being compared to Uncharted or any, any other top tier game out there, it's nothing but an honor for us. Really, at the end of the day, we're just trying to make the best Tomb Raider game we can, and that's our focus through and through, is, is we, we try to, to be aware of the competition, but we try to do what we think is best for the game, and that's what drives us. So expect to see Tomb Raider Fall 2012 on uh, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PC and uh, check out more information on the E3 floor. Thanks a lot.